right now I'm going to tell you how I make interactive videos for the um, open source ecology YouTube channel YouTube enables to basically make links inside videos uh, these links are not always uh, visible on uh, mobile devices uh, hopefully in the future it will change but for now we try to do 60 percent of the audience is behind a desktop uh, and to build this pedagogical manual interactive manual it's it's definitely a, a useful tool that everybody can use so how do we do here you go to the video manager page when you are on the main on the main page you click on the video manager and now we'll open all the videos that we have edited so when you upload here a new video, okay, uh, no matter what it is, there is already a few settings. First, you make it private if you're not sure that you want to, to use it immediately. But so you click on, uh, on, on private, then you select the upload. I'm going to any file which is kind of, voila, any file. And as soon as it starts uploading, you'll see here on the screen that there is already in the title by Open Source Ecology. So you just have to type trencher, bulldozer, or whatever you want. And it's always by Open Source Ecology. This is good when people look for videos, immediately they, 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 they see the brand. Um, there is a, a small text. Take a minute to subscribe to the newsletter. That's very, very important. But also you can add something like the wiki or any link that is related to the video and that's important because when people are going to look at the video they immediately can locate the the exact uh, link inside the video of the of the open source ecology website you'll see that there are some tags so marcin open source factory farm etc you can always add a few uh, tags which are related to the video that you upload this is very important for, uh, for people to, to find better you, your video. And then the last point, you'll see the thumbnail here. Uh, of course, you can upload a, an image which fits better than what it is. So I don't do that in, in all the case, but in 50% of the case, I will create a uh, you know, screenshot image or whatever, but that looks better than what you have in your own video, or which is more. Um, don't forget here to add any video to the playlist. That's important because uh, Open Source Ecology YouTube channel already has some playlists. Let's put them. As, as soon as it is a pedagogical video, you add it in the playlist, which will be featured. Here you get this video. So let's say it's an important video and it is linked to a pedagogical tool. In the wiki, you, you will find a list. And this list is this one. Well, here now it's not yet designed. But on this list, what do I do? I keep all my, my link, you know, for the CB press, for the iron worker, for, uh, the, um, no, for the grinder, the, the bandsaw, uh, the rotors, the cap, the idlers, whatever. What you produce, you need to put a link of what it is and a name. So that when in the future we are creating links, we don't have to think, oh, where it is. We go to this document, we take the link, and we can immediately uh, link it to the video that you just uploaded, okay? So the question is, how do you make these links? Open source ecology interactive video, okay? So here, oh, I open it, but I can go he here immediately. You can modify some stuff. What we are interested in is the annotations, okay? Annotation is really what, what matters for us. What, what is this? It opens something where you have a video starting, you have the player he's starting, and you see underneath you have some links that I added. All right, what are these links? If I click on one, let's say I click on this one, look here on the right side, I've got the name, and I can type what I want. I got the font, this, this is a custom or impact, it's a small design, but you, it's not important. We got the, the size of the font, I normally use all 13, which is the by default, or the 16, a bit bigger. Uh, then you get black or white, normally the white works better. So for the open source ecology, I use only the, the white, as you see here on the picture. And then you have the background, okay? In the background here, I normally take this, this dark gray or this one. Then you take the link 
that you have on this document, right? You take the link and you say, I want to now create a link immediately going to the global village construction set. So we have a page for that. You find the link, you stick it here, and you can immediately, when people will click on it, they will be re redirected. Let's say that you don't want, sometimes you are talking, you're making a link to something annex. So you could here click on this open link in a new window. So it will create a new tab on the, on the, on the this it depends really of what you want to do. On the set here, as you can see, you can click and you can modify as you want the length of the code or the moment when the link will be used. So this is very easy to do. You simply click on the right side, you modify the data and you, and you move it as much uh, as you want on the server. Most of the time when you create a video, you will add an annotation, create a note, and you will here say main menu, or, or it could be another one like tool menus, okay? We have different types of, of uh, we have the theory menu, the tool menu, we have the global um, village construction set menu. Uh, so these are, you know, the main kind of, of pages where you're going to redirect your, your audience each time. Don't forget, each time you put a new video, very important, put a link back. Otherwise, we create a link, but our audience is left in the nature and they, they don't come back to, uh, to the pedagogical menu. Don't forget, you save and you, you save and you apply changes. Two things. If you do only save, you won't see the, 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 the interaction, so you need to apply changes. Then you click on the link. Then here, I click on Global Village Set Construction. I see all. Here, look, these are spotlights where I ask to keep the color and the box for a certain reason. Here I put a legend, and the legend is the, the, the phase of production of each of the machine. And uh, I try to respect the same color that is on the wiki page. So that's important. Last comment, when you create links, it's important to double check the things because you're going to create a link coming back. And so at the end, before releasing, this is why I prefer to start on a private mode. You basically create all your links and then you try it. You know, you press here, booms, you try your stuff and you look if the links are well made. If you're going back to the menu, if this is going to the several videos that you have uploaded and then only you, uh, you basically launch it. Um, and to launch it, I think the best in order to, to, get the, the, um, to get the community is, let me say, I'm back here to the video channel. And here, on top of the channel, you go Ma Marcin OSC slash, you do feed. Marcin OSC feed. And here what you have, you have the possibility to publish built-ins. It's a much better way to basically get your message across to your community than simply posting in a public mode a new, a new video. So what you do is like, you, you're there and, you, and then you write, hi guys, here is, new, here is a, a new video about this or that. So you write a small message and then you can add here a video and you post. This is the best way in order to reach uh, your community. We get 5,000 5, people following Marcin and, uh, and the open source ecology uh, today. So basically, um, let's, let's get the, the, the most of the, the, the YouTube channel, and this is the one. Uh, hope, hope it was useful, and enjoy the interactive YouTube.